Welcome to Unicell Library. It was set up in year 1999 and now on it has diverged into two branches, which is Shah Alam Campus and main branch Vestari Jaya Campus. Unicell Library's Goal Unicell Library supports the educational goals of University Selangor by providing access to all forms of information to support study, teaching, research, and general pursuit of knowledge. Unicell Library also upholds the concept of privacy for our users and concern on creating an environment that conducive to learning and research. This library is divided into three levels, which is ground, first and second floor. Now, we start at the ground floor. Okay, at the ground floor, the Unicell Library provided locker room, reference desk, meeting room, children's corner, circulation desk, and self-check machine. Locker room. It is located at ground floor. Users can keep their personal things in there. It can be used freely, but if late written in the key, they have to pay the fine, which is RM2 per day and maximum 10 ringgit. If any loss or damage happen, RM10 will be charged, and if the locker is damaged, RM30 ringgit will be charged. If you have any problem in looking for information or resources, you can refer to the librarian at the reference desk. Next, Children's Corner. The Children's Corner is open to the university as well as for the neighborhood community in order to help children ages 3 to 12 comprehend the world in which they live by providing suitable material for them. Other than that, the Unicell Library also have self-check machine which is intended for use by the patrons in checking out books with minimal assistance by library staff. Item charging can be quickly done by follow the instruction, login university identification card, enter your password. Once detected, the item description will display on screen and you may print your receipt. Now, we continue with the first floor. At the first floor, Unicell Library provided general collection from A to Z, meeting room, chill out room, and cyberway. Other than that, the Unicell Library also provides the meeting room that are for library member only. You may use this room for 2 hours minimum of 7 students and maximum 15 students are welcome to use this facility for meeting purposes only. If time extended and no other library users have reserved the room, you must inform to the officer in charge to continue to use this room. For meeting room, it is available at all three levels. Next, the Unicell Library also provides chill out room. This room are furnished with socket plug and computer table. It is for users to use their laptop and mobile phone as well as charging their laptop and phones. It is also for the users to come and rest while having light discussions among themselves. This library also has cyberway to give you access to the internet and to enhance and support educational, instructional and research related mission. In cyberway also, they provide library species, FOC and printing services. Lastly, we will explore what the second floor provided. Reading area, mini theater, stasis room, discussion room, meeting room and reference room. Next is mini theater. The Unicell Library also have mini theater that can be used to help activities like showing cartoon, videos, seminars and etc. It can be assessed by children, lecturers, students for their own purposes. Next is discussion room. It is located at both first floor and second floor. For the postgraduate, they can use the discussion room that located at first floor and for undergraduate, they can use the discussion room at the second floor. Next is thesis room. 
The researcher used this room for doing research mainly. Example of thesis that available in this room is acquired from the lecturers that would give the thesis related to their faculty. The thesis range from project paper, exam paper and practical report. To use this room, the user needs to fill the form and put their member card onto the table while using the room. Next is reference room. At this room, the materials that available is annual report, bulletin, journal, newspaper, sports game and dictionaries. At Unicell Library, they also provide ICT infrastructure such as library systems, self-chat system, cyberware and wireless fidelity. Besides, the library also provides wireless fidelity which is Wi-Fi service within the library building. You can log in to the Wi-Fi service by following the simple steps. Next is services. There are a few of services in this library, which is loan services, interlibrary loan, readers advisor and users education. The materials that can be borrowed include audiovisual, open shelf children, reference collection, special collection, serial, newspaper and close access collection. For the loan services, Borrowing can be done either at the self-check machine or at the circulation counter. For this service, all registered members are allowed to borrow library materials according to their eligibility. Unicell Library also provides online resources, which is online newspapers that came in Bahasa Melayu, Chinese, English, Tamil language and others. The Unicell Library also have Library e-Bulletin, which is blog that name beside, that discuss about the newest topics and you may leave your comments there if you are interested in that particular topic. The Unicell Library also have online databases to support its online resources. The online databases range from EBSCOhost, Emerald, ProQuest, Science Direct and others. Keep calm and love your library. Now that you have seen what kind of facilities, service, museum library will provide for you, then there is no reason to wait anymore. Come and enrich your fun learning with Unicell Library.